uses pencils. She's a pen. I know. She I goes am. for and it. And I do better. It's already doing better than the other thing did. Because there's no turning back. Yeah, that would be me. I'd be erasing until there's a hole in the paper. Here we are. My name's Howard, and my co-host, Hello, everyone. Mary. Happy to see everyone out there in virtual, virtual and, and our other co-host is the uh, fabulous downtown Buffalo, New York. And you are watching Lounge Academy, which is... Oh, I see we're on multiple cams here, you know? We're on rotating cams, I think. I'm gonna give you guys a single view. This one here, there we go. I meant to give you guys a single view. That was, you guys got a, a lucky break. You got a sneak peek of our rotary cameras. Now look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Drama, reality, right here. People driving, real people riding on. Right. I think one guy just gave us a, a thumbs up to WBIG TV. <laughs> one of the riders on the train, at least, I think it was his thumb. <laughs> kind of flipped it up there. I'm gonna double check the sound. You can see there's nobody here yet. Okay, great, you got a sneak peek. I say, uh, Nobody here yet with optimism that we've never had nobody show up in all the years we've been doing this. No, we never have. Near, nearly, but. I know tonight is kind of iffy because of the weather, but I know, I I know of iffy. a few cadets who are coming, certainly. I don't see why it would be iffy. This is the nicest weather we've had in months. <laughs> and we have valet parking and it's free, we found out. If you... Uh, if you mention you're here, usually they ask, but if they don't ask, say you're here for the piano bar and uh, it's, it's free valet parking, in my understanding, that seems to be how it works. And uh, that's how it's been working. And which is really great, because here we're, we're in the downtown Hyatt Regency in Buffalo. And there's a beautiful pull up. And you know, there aren't any big events going on in the hotel uh, today. You can see it's um, people quietly enjoying enjoying themselves here. Um, it's quiet, so that means the valet parking is not like inundated with uh, visitors. So you can zip right up, toss the man the keys or the woman. Actually, it'll be it'll be Charlie, Charles. If you tell you use his name, he'll be, then you'll be, you'd impress whoever you're with that you're really a roller, that you know the valet's name at the Hyatt. It's Charles. It's kind of a gentleman around uh, my age. I think he's got a little bit of a graying, whiskery thing going on. Great, great guy. And uh, you can just hand him the keys to all your problems in life and he'll take it away. And for the next several hours or however long you can stand it here at Lounge Academy, you'll be elevated from the world of the real world full of its challenges and frustrations, and especially if you watch the news, you know. So it's good to get away from all that and come here to the reality piano bar. And the funny thing about reality TV is it's an escape from reality. It's kind of a oxymoron, wouldn't you say, Mary? It is an oxymoron. It's also a moron. It's also a moron? <laughs> no. <laughs> and it's also an oxy. Only a moron would not realize that. That, that you can come here. Well, so far, we're, we're all alone here at Lounge Academy. 
we're, wait, oh, we're waiting for uh, Ryan Lysar, who's president of WBIG TV, to make this a, an official uh, program. I'm going to look now to see if, what you guys are writing. I can do that on this other. Here we go. Kim Perry, Mike Emick. Now, those are some great people out there, some great lounge cadets, old friends. Nice, nice to see you guys. Peek. It said you guys are out there. That's how I know. Sometimes it tells me. If they're really good guys, it tells me. Oh, and Kim, Kim said hello. Happy Friday. Happy Friday to you. Kimberly Perry is also known as Mrs. Shane Brother Shane. Which uh, makes her fittingly a person of royalty. And uh, our own Barry is on board. Welcome aboard, Barry. Here, speaking of aboard, see, look, there's a train going by now. I wonder if they're giving us the, that guy's giving us the thumb again. And our very own Brenda Lee Alexander is watching with, she's probably sobbing right now into her fancy cocktail because she's not here. Brenda's not here until next week, I understand. I think I think Brenda's still down uh, in, where is she, in Florida? She's or Carolina? Carolina. Carolina. Da, 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 be in Carolina. Yep. You're missing out on this gloomy weather. Yeah, I told her she's missing the snowstorm. I'm going to wave at Brenda. It says I can do that. I waved. Not sure what that means. And a shout out to Nancy with the laughing face, who taught me all about cats. And Peter Grine, great guy, great cadet. Maybe he'll say hello. And we're here, if you're just tuning in, this is uh, the set of uh, WBIG TV's Lounge Academy. We're all ready for the unwitting uh, contestants you can see I've got my uh, tip materials out. Uh, it's like fishing. You know, you put the bait out, and uh, some, some nights they're, they're bite, the fish are biting, and other, other nights uh, they're not, you know? But uh, my mission here, the only thing I think about the whole time, you know, I'm doing all these great songs of the 20s, 30s, and 40s, and uh, hi, folks. We've got a piano bar going tonight. See, they're running away. I was advertising it at the bar. Oh, way to go, Mary. <laughs> Mary's the Barnum and Bailey of piano <laughs> bars. So uh, anyway, while I'm immersed in the romance um, and depth of these great American songbook lyrics, what I'm really thinking about is tips is how to get five bucks out of, out of like every everyone, you know how to squeeze the tightest buffalonian out of five dollars. It's not easy, ladies and gentlemen, and that's what makes it so much fun. It's like, it's like you know other any other sport. You know, like a skiing is no fun for a a skier unless it's a steep hill. And going on safari gets boring to those who who don the pith helmet <laughs> if it's not big game the pith helmet if, and, the Bermuda it, and if it does not squirm and put up a fight yeah you know <laughs> speaking of squirming and putting up a fight <laughs> nice to see you Ryan Lysars the cat dragged in pre pre Ryan. president of WBIG <laughs> TV right. On the set of his successful show. It's good to be here. Great it is. It is good to be here. We're very happy to be here. Where's our escalator? Bren, Brenda says hi. Oh yeah. Where <laughs> hi, is Brenda. Oh, he forgot. Um, Pat. Pat's oh. our man, right? Pat Murphy. Mark Mar um, Is he the one who? That's his. Oh, his name, right? I, I don't know. Our, our manager. Our new manager. Was that Pat Murphy? We Patrick, met him last. It was Patrick. Patrick. Yeah. Pat. I think, Patrick, I think it is. I think it is yes, Patrick Murphy. 
the reason why I obsess over names is so, I'm so bad at it that I amaze myself if I could remember one. Because I'm self-centric, I'm usually thinking about myself. Well, you remembered my name when I came in. Yeah, I got yours memorized. That was pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, snowing out in uh, North Boston where Barry is. It right was now. snowing in North Buffalo. Yeah. <laughs> it is not snowing where Brenda is. No, definitely not. But she's got some ice cubes in her drink. Some she needs crushed to get ice. back here. Yeah, she's coming and back She does have to, to be back here, and oh. I think she's going to be back here next week. Well, next week she'll still be able to experience snow because, you know, we get snow all through April, possibly into it's, May. It's really hard to predict, isn't it? Just stand here, and then we'll get the glam, the, the huge, <laughs> impressive <laughs> background. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, look at this backdrop. Look, look at, at this. That. Isn't it a great what background? You can see Shay is in the sleep. So, uh, what more could you want? Th so the three hosts of Lounge <laughs> Academy are now on the set. <laughs> I think people... The set is prepared. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, do not... Do not, do not fear the weather. People come out in all kinds of weather. We never... I know Lizzie's coming. Lizzie will be here with Meek. And Some people are chicken. You know... Look at, but there you got someone riding we got, a bike. We got covered, we got a bike, a we've got covered valet parking. You pull you up, recreational Charles takes your key, right it's outside. free. There he goes. How yeah. the if you're with Lounge Academy, it's free. If anybody's sitting at home watching this who was planning to come down here, but then valet decided parking. not to because of the weather, you're a chicken. <laughs> well, plus, uh, un unnecessarily so, because Charles is waiting out there soaking I wet, ready to take your keys and tell you it's on the house because you're with Lounge Academy. Wow. And talk about great service. It is. On the house. This is great service. The, uh, one of our other uh, co-workers was just up here before the uh, beginning, polishing the glass and the brass. Wow. Not just with disinfectants, but with polish. That is incredible. And I see we have it, our- It's beautiful. Our high top table. Yes. Again. Yeah, we've got the- uh, yeah, that's nice. I, I think that has always stayed. It was here yesterday. Well, that's her table. Yes. The ta that's the Justine Jop The Justine table. Jop table over yes, there. We need a little plaque on it. She yeah. arranged. She arranged for, for it. For that. Um, people probably want to see my face. Here I am. Here's a little cameo from me. Uh, Bill Jenkins is reporting in. Uh, it's snowing hard in, in Grand Island. Hard on. Grand Island? Is that what you <laughs> Snowing hard on Grand Island. Well, once you get down here, it's, it's good, not Bill. snowing. So. Nick Otto from your Capital Correspondent. Snow predicted for the D.C. area tomorrow. Thank you, Nick Otto, for that that remote. And Brenda loves Mary's dress. I love Mary's dress, too. Look at that. Oh, thank you. Yeah. That's a dress that... Uh, it's actually beaded. Goes from the... From the four to the up and all the way down again. I, I, I saved my longest dress to wear on the sloppiest days. <laughs> that is a beautiful dress. <laughs> Even though uh, the weather was iffy, we um, we drove the hand truck here tonight, and we we chanced it, and it was drizzling a little bit, and it was kind of fun because school was letting out, and I was walking down uh, Huron, with pushing my equipment on yeah. my hand truck with all the. Uh, Teenagers that uh, yeah, I was with the were teenagers. released from school, and they were looking a little somber for a Friday. I thought they'd be like, you know, yeah, acting up on the way home, you know. And they, they, uh, I was like, had more of a bounce in my step than they did. They had all the bounce sucked out of them at school. That's the problem. Yeah, maybe it was like SAT day. Well, it's this nice is, here with the palm trees. Maybe, we can come down here and experience the fun of like a mini Florida vacation where we've got palm trees. Yeah, real. There are palm trees here yes. and twinkly and lights.
the scenery around here is just, you don't have to do anything except look out the window. It's really great. Panoramic. So you can see. Now we're, we're, uh, we're broadcasting from what used to be Genesee Street. Um, and the preservationists make quite a fuss over um, this little footprint that we're on with our piano right? bar. Oh, because? Because it broke up the hub and spoke system. Yes, because now we're right in the middle of Genesee. You know what, though? If you look down from the plane, if you're taking off from Buffalo at night, that spoke system's still right there, and you can really see it. So it's actually a very small... Well, yeah, but they did, they did cut it off. They did, we're, we're yeah. Popped down. But, it's not perfect. But that's, that's right. good it for us. Come right out from Niagara Street. So we came up with a slogan really for Lounge cool. Academy, Ryan. And I'm thinking of what it is. It's a, it is it, the slogan is... They ruined it for us. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> that is a great slogan. Got that, everybody? They ruined it for us. And, and, and you are the us, because you're lounge cadets. So they broke up the hub and spoke system and built this piano bar, plopped it in what used to be Genesee Street, which would now be Croce Way. Um, and we are the beneficiary. We, we, all of us, are the beneficiaries of this uh, because we get a piano bar in this awesome yeah. spot where we could see up and down all the that is spokes. Right, right in the middle. Yeah, we're right in the middle. You can see there's street. there's the uh, Shays sign down there. This we're actually closer than this uh, camera shows. This is a wide angle lens. There's something. Yeah, there's something. We're not the only place that you post office. Buffalo's full of these situations where the street gets cut off. We've been we've fallen victim to a lot of weird. Yeah, the weird post office. <laughs> it is a weird post office. I think they should have kept the post office in the old ECC North. That's a really befitting the dignity of a post office. Yes. That beautiful old, the old post office. That is, is it still often called. Is that what the became ECC? Office. Yes. They used to be the post office? Yes, when the post office was really something to glorify. Before email. Yes, when you would go in there into this August hall, kind of like the, the bank. The Buffalo Savings Bank was one of bank was something yes. where you'd walk into it and it was supposed to inspire confidence and everything. Well, they didn't even think of that. I don't think just something to celebrate. They were confidence artists. Look at that place. I used to Brian when I was a kid. I had a little savings bank where the, it was that building and the dome unscrewed and you put your pennies and it's great. It is so cool. I have several uh, things from Gold Dome Bank, like uh, mugs and uh, things with. Pictures. Now oh, people, pictures now people get mugged at the I remember bank. my father got into a fight with the people at Gold Dope once, and he ended up by looking over his shoulder as he was leaving. And another thing, I don't like the name Gold Dope. <laughs> Gold Dome with one D. Yes, I don't like the name Gold Dome. <laughs> yeah, should that's name what my it Gold Man. Gold Dome. He used to say it, used to say it like <laughs> Gold, that. Gold Dome. You're, you're the first person I've heard since him say that. Gold Dome. <laughs> yeah. Because he loved the name Buffalo Savings Bank. And then he liked, and then Erie changed its name to Empire of America because my father was sitting there going, that sounds like a banana republic. It <laughs> used to be a fine old Indian name, and now it's Banana Republic. Erie. <laughs> no, the Big E. Yeah. The, yeah, that's right. It was the Big E. When I temped at it, it was the Big E. It's lucky it survived my temping at it. <laughs> Not for long, though. <laughs> I, I think it closed Not in for long, 1989. The yeah, yeah. Certainly after I took <laughs> Yes. Oh, I was in with a whole group of other ne'er-do-well temps. Oh, I remember we were all just sitting on the floor surrounded by files all the time and just laughing our heads off at whatever. And then we'd all go to lunch together at Woolworths or something and come back. And come back just laughing about everything. We were horrible temps. It was horrible. <laughs> well, that's, that's why you were temps. I know. <laughs> Years later, too, it wasn't long ago, I ran into someone who goes, do you remember me? We tumped together at the big... <laughs> and I was like, oh, that group of tumps. <laughs> I think yeah, temping was, was probably more fun. Temping was when, amazing. Uh, was when so temps were fun. actually temporary. Well, you know, more temporary. Now it seems like they want to hire people as a temp for a whole year. Or something. Yes, it's or like, they want to hire you permanently. Yeah. And as soon as I'd ever get hired as a temp, your fun would end. Because yeah, all of a sudden you'd have a job. It. Yeah. Cause chaos. You'd think it sounded game. good. I accepted a number of jobs from being a temp, and every time I regretted it. Per, the word perm also meant uh, a hairstyle. Oh, that's what they would say temp to perm. That's what they say now. Yes. Temp to, they say temp to perm? 
Yeah, a lot oh, of places. Yeah, the perm was a hairstyle, too. Yeah, got <laughs> Anybody there. out there have a permanent hairstyle? I had a perm for a while. I loved it. It, was it great. would be great, great for a lot of people like just if they had permanent hair. I was really like a poodle. It was uh, Our former da uh, janitor, Dave, it was so got much perm fun. Once. Perms were fun. Yeah, a few years back. Wow. He showed up to work. He had a perm. When we look back on our era, what are we going to laugh at? There's got to be something. Everything always looks normal. Um, I think the there's plenty. Probably masks. Back on it, probably masks. That's going to be a big laugh. People are going to look at a lot of photos from this right. time. Right. Yeah. yeah. Here he is. Here's Here Frederick. He is. Frederick. Here's the picture. If you can only have Both one, talk. one actor here, it's Frederick. Hi, uh, Frederick. You look wonderful. I like it. Yes, like the cool. look. I like it. How are you folks doing? We're doing we're the doing worldwide, great. Worldwide, uh, worldwide, wide, That's worldwide it. world. Oh, Shout out to Big Mike who's out there flexing and watching. Good to see you, sir. I saw your name come up. That's how I know. They shut the thing because I do not have spy software on your computer, champ. Weightlifting champ. <laughs> so, so, two, three. Okay. Yes, and he had a piano tinkling. Yeah, let's go. Uh, you guys were here. Yeah. We're going to go down and watch how Frederick orders a drink because this is reality. And uh, I'm sorry, the uh, I'm embarrassed that the escalators aren't on yet, and these guys have to like walk up the stairs manually. Apologize, kids. Sorry for the shakiness. This uh, Marino's here, ladies and gentlemen. It's getting real. This phone does not have the stabilization. This particular phone. Hi, Marino. Hello, Mr. Golden. Great to see you, sir. Great to be seen. Yeah. It's, it's especially some, nice to. Similar glasses. Look. I like those. Those are like Ari Silverstein inspired. These are. They're, uh, they're excellent. Yeah. Nice. Um, I'd say we're, we're especially happy to see it tonight because nobody else is here. Oh, it's going to be a, it's going to be an epic night. Here they come. They're coming in now. People are filing in. Yeah, here comes Lizzie. Oh, okay, Gary, can I you? Hey, and, uh, how are you? Say hi, Carter. Hello. Hello. Hi, Lizzie. Hi, Lynn. Hey, how are you? How are you? It's wonderful to see you. Taking a break from all night, Meek. Nice to see you. <laughs> Looking good. <laughs> if you just tuned in, uh, you're watching Lounge Academy on WBIG TV, uh, Reality Piano Bar, and uh, if you're watching, you are a lounge cadet. You can see how how normal everybody behaves before they've had a few drinks. And right now they're lining up to get their first drinks. At least their first drinks here. Lynn, Lynn was drinking in her car on the way here. <laughs> Do you want to sell it? Police may be listening. <laughs> well, it's too late. <laughs> they got to catch you in the act. It's true. I'm sorry. No, it's right. The police are going to next. Oh, gotcha. That's a great song, Barry. You stepped out of a dream. You know, whenever I hear a guy p tuning a piano, I think they're playing that don't song don't touch it. I touch it the last because it goes up um, in half steps, uh, almost the same way they pound on the key to tune it. Da 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 di da 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 di. What can I get you, ladies? She wants a Long Island iced tea sour. There it is. First, is that the first one of the day, Frederick? First one of the day. First one of the day. This time zone. <laughs> don't forget to turn your clocks back tomorrow. It's a public service announcement. Oh, tomorrow? Oh, ahead. Ahead. Oh, thank you. I had ahead. no idea. Tomorrow, spring ahead. It's funny. I just set this one back because it was off. Mm -hmm. It thought I was in uh, yep. another country. Mm -hmm. uh, I could have left it alone. I'm full of good I facts. So. Mm -hmm. I had the Federalist, and I also have the uh, Intercept by Charles Woodson, football player. Who wrote the Federalist? The Jefferson yes. or Hamilton? Lynn's getting a complete rundown. Intercept. Intercept? 
The Federalist Do Papers. Not know. Who wrote that? Hamilton, Wins, Jefferson. Wins taking physical inventory of the bar. <laughs> Winston Churchill. Of course. You think Christmas is not over for you? It's always Christmas, right? It's not okay. Christmas. He's winter. Is that it? Yeah, he's winter. He's ice skating. Okay. Go for that. Who ordered the Long Island? Someone. Someone's gonna get. Plastic. Long Island, man, you must have been working hard all day. Yeah, like, like, long, you got a Long Island iced tea? That's what Lizzie's getting? No, that's... Uh, <laughs> oh, Niki? That's a, yeah, Mika? I'm just having a nice time. Wow, I'm impressed. <laughs> that's hardcore. It's not hardcore if you're like 21, you know. It's like seven shots. Yeah. Because you don't care what happens. But um, seven shots? It's like seven shots in a little sour mix. Well, as you, as you uh, like that. home five, cadets five can see, we've already five. got a, a story thread forming here. And that's uh, Nika is going to be downing uh, a Long Island iced tea. Some places won't seven serve Seven shots. Them. Central Park Grill won't serve them. They refuse, they won't. They shouldn't serve one to me, I can tell you that. They don't. I'm a mean drunk, we're just, Gary. We're just... Not really. We're sticking with the Stella. I can't get drunk enough to be mean. I fall asleep. I never be mean. It must be. It must be. Um, I I I'm jealous of people that can like do a few shots and have a blast, and they just get energy and they're just. Like, I just yeah I just zone out I yeah. Of course I haven't tried it in you know 50 years. Just thinking of you. Some others I found. You never lied in that song. I couldn't be mean or something. I never around. Couldn't be mean. Da 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 da. Gave me a thrill. With all my heart, I hate you still. It had to be you. Oh man, those are wonderful. I need one. That's a, that's the title. Right. Okay, how do we gonna do this? Is this, is this the? Uh, is this the? Oh, there's the Long Island iced tea. Here's here's what it, here's what the person looks like before they drink it. And here's what the drink looks like before the person drinks it. You can see it made it made the countertop glow. See how he operates, ladies and gentlemen. Made such an impression. Did they turn off the escalators because Nick took a dive? No, he forgot to. Um, Pat came came by and uh, asked what time to turn him on, and, oh, okay. and then he forgot. I thought maybe they. they look at the general. Nika's going to need those escalators working. I thought they look, the looked at the general age of the crowd and said, "We better turn block these the things off." <laughs> <laughs> block the intersection, but don't block the ball. All right, let's go up and chase these kids away. <laughs> Here they come, ladies and gentlemen. They're going to not take the glamorous escalators. Escalator. We'll have, we'll have them turned on. Marino's going to take the elevator. Elevator is very nice. We'll get to... Hi, Dale. My old buddy and car buddy, Dale Pine. Great to see you, sir. So that's Lynn. Yeah, old friend of Mary. She was here last week. The other white lady. Oh, oh, uh, Lizzie. Lizzie. Yeah, Lizzie. The black lady. Uh, that that's um, Lizzie's uh, friend, old friend, good friend, Nika. 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 Somebody who gave me a thrill.
Okay, now we're back on we're back on the studio mic. We're back at the piano. We're gonna give you guys the multiple deal. Check the sound on something here, make sure. Okay, good. We are getting sound. Turn this one down. See you, Mr. Corbett. Dave Corbett says hello. Okay, very good. Got to turn the joke microphone on. We've got the, some. Always got to remember to turn the treble up when we're here because of the carpeted floors. show where everybody's sober. We've got a light snow. It's beautiful, isn't it? Looks like a snow globe. Just the best possible vantages and views. The cadets are now going to seat at the reviewing stand, situated just above the piano. These are the judges. This is the jury exam here. How's that Long Island iced tea doing? Looks like you put a dent in it already. Are you, are you, uh, I'm assuming you can handle your boots. I mean, only somebody with confidence, or that's like, that's not a beginner drink. You ordered extra what? Sour. Extra sour. So what do they put in to make it extra sour? In a Long Island iced tea. There's a sour. Thing you drink. Wow, well, that's impressive. But I don't taste the liquor. I, I, you don't taste the liquor? I don't like the taste of liquor. Oh, you don't like it? So, what does that taste like to you? Like iced tea? Sour lemonade. Like sour lemonade. I told you these cadets are more interesting than anything you could make up. Cityscape camera, you got Nika, their own wizard. 
just like many of the cadets are using at home to drink along with the show. joke mic now. I'm getting more confidence in, in my jokes. Lounge Academy episodes we've learned over the, sorry I touched the mic there, probably blew Nick Otto off his bar stool there when I touched that microphone, sorry. One thing we've learned is um, these Lounge Academy episodes are extremely unpredictable. I think they're completely unpredictable. As Ryan and I have discussed at the, at, at the top of each show, we often discuss, gee, I wonder who's going to be here. I wonder if there could be. I have no idea how many are who. Often the room changes two or three times in one night.
called the icebreaker part of the night. The icebreaking part of that, it's like being the SS Cutter on the, on the Buffalo River or the Niagara River, depending on where it happens to be. Cutting ice goes out there and they break the ice up. And that's what, that's what our job is here at the piano bar. We break the ice until everybody gets a little bit looped. Then they hit critical mass because their rods get exposed as their drink level drops. Frederick. Frederick knows a lot of songs. This is a Cole Porter song. Not everybody plays it very often, though. After you, who? I bet you don't know it. Could supply my sky. Oh, blue. Marino probably knows it. This is obscure. Could I walk? It's the you who song. After you, why? Time to cry, or who else could qualify after you? soundtrack from the Gay Divorcee tonight, 1932, Cole Porter tunes. There were so many 
many shows and movies. It's unbelievable how, you know, and I, bet, I bet only like a fraction of, you know, 10%, a fraction of 10% we've ever heard of. Experiment. You're my experiment. Oh, I thought I had it. Maybe, was it bouncy? Experiment. Experiment. Gary Marino just got a private call and he ducked it. Yeah, if they don't want to tell you who's calling, right. you definitely, it's bad enough when you know who they are. Because you know they're trying to back into a corner on something. Why else would somebody phone you nowadays unless they want to like entrap you so you don't have time to lie? Could be, he might have forgot to star 72. shots in that drink. Nika's got five shots in her drink. Now there's about three. Well, there's ice in there, so maybe two. That's the narrow part of the glass. But that's what this is all about. Everyone's asking about Frederick at home. Hi, Kathy. They're working on a new entrance. That sounds sexy. But they'll be here next week, the, the Moseses. It's always wonderful when Kathy and Nick make an appearance on Mounds Academy. They're the home favorites. Car that has one of his albums on it, 
and it's the only thing that plays in that car. You, know, you take the convertible, it's the Jocko album. Yeah. Then, then maybe it is like, well, the one I got in there, because it's got day in and day out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, day in, like, wow. Again. This couldn't happen again. This is that once in a lifetime. This is that thrill divine. What's more, this couldn't happen before. Though I have prayed for a lifetime that such as you would suddenly be mine, mine to hold as I'm holding you now. from and who and who played it it was either from serenade it's a Glenn Miller it's one, of the, one of the two Glenn Miller movies song that I think is really nice. I haven't played it in years. That's my disclaimer. This goes out to the fine folks at Disneyland.
types of conversations adults had with children in 1951 when this song was written. Now you have a typical conversation with a modern child and they're not talking about, you know, where, where does the moon go when the sun is shining? much more sophisticated. Remember those sweet lyrics to that old Disney song? Alice in Wonderland. We were just discussing how a discussion, a conversation with a child nowadays as opposed to when that song was written. Um, it's just a whole different content and context. They don't discuss like where the moon went, yes. when the sun rises. And, yeah. I mean, they'd almost have to like revise it to modernize it, you know? And I, I, hate, to, I hate to consider it, what it might, how, how it might turn out. Sometimes. But that's an exploration for another day. We don't want to ruin the loungy mood here by getting people furious laughing. Nika is really technically more than 50% through her Long Island iced tea. By, by ruler, she's at about 50%, but by measure, by by displacement measure, I'd say, and because of the shape of the vessel and the remaining ice in the glass, she's well past the halfway, which means she's well past two and a half shots. say chapter two of tonight's edition, the second act. As we're beginning to settle in, and we really have an elite group of cadets here tonight. I'm sitting here at the piano with Frederick. He's the second most well-known man in the lounges in Buffalo, first only to the man beside him, our very own Gary Marino. He hangs out with Ari Silverstein in New York. That's how. Thanks for stopping in. Have a great night, sir. We've been saving those seats for you guys. Make yourselves comfortable. You know where everything is. 
The bar's right below you. <laughs> you can hang your glass over the edge so you can fill it. out to the great Ray Emmerman, the greatest used car salesman in Buffalo. And that's as judged by his peers. He's the car salesman's car salesman. He's the Art Tatum of the car selling business. different songs. That's why I say sometimes I just have a feeling. Today I may have not a thing at all except for just a dream or two. I've got lots of plans for tomorrow. All my tomorrows. Hal Kakoda would know this one. He knows all the Jimmy Van Heusen songs. For now, it may not seem like spring at all. We're drifting, and the laughs are few. Got raindrops planned for tomorrow. All my tomorrows belong to you. No one knows better than I that love keeps passing me by. That's fate. But with you there by my side, I'll soon be turning the tide. Just wait. As long as I've got arms that cling at all, it's you that I'll be clinging to. All the things I dream and borrow all my tomorrows they all come true all my bright tomorrows belong to you And use him, Sammy Khan. Thank you. That's a ringer. A couple of good writers there. 1959. Um, so it's not that. That's one of our newer songs. 1959, really. Yeah. it together. Oh, 
was. Maybe he wants to come by again. Yeah, the odds of getting the right number would be pretty rare. We're working our way through what is what is known today as the great, they call it the Great American Songbook now. And but back when these songs were, you know, contemporary, it was just they were just popular songs. I don't think they came up with the Great American Songbook until. I think Michael uh, Feinstein came up with that. Yeah, that's a real guy, Michael Feinstein. Yeah, he thinks. See, yeah, yeah, he did a great job. You know, the, there, there was what was that in the '90s? Everybody started taking their turns doing standards. I think they wanted to show that they could that the dog could hunt, you know, that they could get up and do a... Helps keep these songs alive. I like the ones where nobody did them and people don't, never heard of them, and then I could say I wrote them. Yeah. Here's one, uh, have you ever heard this one? Cole Porter, I love the looks of you, the lore of you, the sweet of you, the pure of you, the eyes, the arms, the mouth of you, the east, west, north, and the south of you. Academy. This is your piano bar, courtesy of the highest Regency Buffalo, where you can forget all the important things in the world and think of nothing for a while, like we do. Every 
every Friday. And we live stream it. We live, this is being live streamed, by the way. They love you at home. Yeah, you could, um, well, it's on my Facebook. Just go to Facebook slash uh, Goldman Howard. Yeah, Facebook.com slash Goldman Howard. We've got four cameras going. so many show business people here tonight. It's always exciting to perform for other performers. Because they understand the pain of the creative process. We're in the A's. There's a lot of good songs in the A's. They could have stopped it with the A's, and you'd have a great legacy of material. I'm drinking out of an official Lounge Academy mug tonight because um, I've, I've just felt shame uh, drinking out of a tin can here in a fancy place, like, you know? Yeah. It's like, I'm supposed to be enforcing, you know, enforcing the, the scene, and I was setting a bad example. The great singer from the Big Apple, David Vernon, one of my favorite singers. If you ever get a chance to catch him, wow, what a singer. A singer's singer, that's David Vernon. How about a round of applause for David Vernon, who's tuned in. Wonderful. It's a black and white event in living color. Did we do all the things you are yet? Just did a request for your song. You are. See if we got that. Do I have that with me? I need it. I don't know if I got that with me. David Vernon's requesting from great songs. I don't think I brought that one. Yeah, I'm in the alls and it's not in there, David Vernon. Howard, I like the view from here. You are the dear David. What you are, the burden is. Such an inspiration. Here's another one that begins with the word all, though, for you, David Vernon. It's, it's a substitute. Bait and switch. When somebody loves you, it's no good. Unless she loves you all the way. Happy to be near you when you need someone to cheer you all the way.
between years Come what may Who knows Where the road will lead us Only a fool would say If you let me love you it's for sure I'm gonna love you So Jimmy Van Heusen and Sammy Pan. Thank you. We got a great group tonight. You can tell they're sober because that's when they're listening to the music. <laughs> it's early. <laughs> You're singing. Oh, nice. How fun. You could. You know, he, he, that's probably uh, a, a good guess. When, when he, you know, when he did a song, man, that, that took the song. Here's a song that, uh, speaking of that, his last song on Columbia, written by Cy Coleman, that probably would not be on the map if it wasn't uh, launched by Frank. And if it hadn't been premiered on uh, Playboy's uh, Penthouse in 1959, those were great shows. So now they were, they had the, the Cy Coleman performed this and introduced the song right on the show. That's how I learned it. Yeah. He did a lot for music. I mean, he's known for other things, but he, he was. Yeah. No, no, this is going to be the other, another one. This was requested by Gary Marino in 2018. I'm sentimental. So I walk in the rain I've got some habits Even I can't explain Could start for the corner Turn up in Spain Why try to change me now? I've got daydreams no more Cigarette ashes There they go on the floor I'll go away weekends Leave the keys in the door Why try to change me now? Why can't I be more conventional? People talk, people stare, so I try. 
that's not for me Cause I can't see My kind of crazy world Go passing me by So let people wonder Let them laugh, let them frown You know I'll love you Till the moon's upside down Don't you remember I was always your clown Why try to change me Why try to change me Why try to change me Now Thank you. That song's called Why Try to Change Me Now. Oh, thank you. Is that a great song? Yeah, Cy Coleman and Yeah, it's one of my favorites. I like that song too. It's so clever. It's been redone. Um, fairly recently. Some hipsters ha have redone it, yeah. This is from a movie, and I saw the scene on YouTube. Humphrey Bogart is in the scene. And um, Warren Bacall sings it. Quite a scene, quite a scene, yeah, yeah. And um, Buffalo's own... The, 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 the man who wrote Stardust. I'll think of it. Um, he was actually a cameo playing the piano, you know, in a saloon. And Humphrey Bogart's looking on if there's some kind of something going on, you know, between. And uh, you could YouTube it, and it's 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 really made great in black and white. Am I blue? Am I blue? Ain't these tears in these eyes? Telling you, and my boo, you'd be too. If each plan with your man done fell through, there was a time I was the only one. I gave till today. Now she's gone and we're through. Am I blue? Oh, the show to make it easier to find. It's from On With the Show, is the name of the movie. Yeah. Great stuff.
my co-host and wife. And Frederick. You're welcome to join us at the piano if you guys want to destroy your privacy. Is this beautiful? I know, it's beautiful, isn't it? I know, we can't get over the place. From his neighborhood. <laughs> He's acting up. Herman Hupfeld. That's, that's a name that's not on everybody's tongue. You must remember this. A kiss is just a kiss. A sigh is just a sigh. Time goes by. And when two lovers woo, they still say, I love Fred. On that you must rely. For that song. What other songs did Herman Hupp felt right? I feel like two or three that are like really big songs. And how do you write only two or three big songs? Maybe the rest of them were all It could be, but you would think like if somebody is that good to write a song like that. goes out to the VIP table. <laughs> Heather has now joined the piano box. 
our seats. Nobody knows the uh, the verse to this, but they all know the song from Orchestra Wives. I was never spellbound. Even Paul Kokoda, I stump him every single time with this, over and over. By a starry sky, what is there to moon glow when love has passed you by? Then there came a midnight. I so spellbound, darling, not by stars, but just by you. Anybody know the song yet? At last, my love has come on. Yeah, of course. My only days are over And life is just a song At last The skies above our blue My heart was wrapped in I looked at you, I found a dream, a dream that I can speak to, a dream that I could call my own. I found a thrill to press my cheek to. That's a classic. Thank you. That's Harry Warren and Mac Gordon from Orchestra Wives, one of the two Glenn Miller movies that he made before his tragic plane crash during World War II. Yeah, I think it was a DC-3. Everybody used to die in DC-3s back then. Those were those tail draggers. Right? Cool looking plane. Mm. Really? They say it was shot bound by friendly, friendly fire over the English Channel. Glenn Miller. Yeah. Here's another Glenn Miller song from one of his two movies. We'll see if we can remember this one. from Orchestra Wise or from Serenade? Why do robins sing in December? Long before the springtime is due. And even though it's snowing, violets are growing. I know why, and so do you. Whispering your name as they do And why do I have a feeling 
Stars are on my ceiling I know why And so do you When you smile at me I hear gypsy violins When you dance with me I'm in heaven I can see the sun when it's raining, hiding every cloud from my view. And why do I see rainbows when you're in my arms? I know why, and so do. That was a Glenn Miller medley. Thank you. It's another song that's worth seeing in the, uh, the YouTube uh, clip of it. Man, they drew a beautiful singer, beautiful female singer. They actually dubbed her voice. They had an even better singer overdubbing it. It was a secret until many years later. The singer's name who did the, the secret dubbing. Her name was Faraday, who became, went by the name Friday, Patricia, Patricia Friday. Her real name was Faraday. She had to sign a secrecy agreement. And um, Joe Friday took his character's name from that, for Dragnet was married to Julie London. This this was probably late 40s, early 50s, right? I mean, I mean, I mean, when when this was going on, and then later on, Dragnet would, would have been in the 50s. The first husband wasn't the first husband. Who was the first husband of Julie London? It wasn't, it wasn't Jack Webb, was it? She was married to Jack Webb, but I don't think... Was there somebody first? That's why we're here at Lounge Academy, to figure all these things out. Okay, who was after Jack Webb? Bobby Troop. Bobby Troop. He was a lounge pianist, Bobby Troop, and a great actor, of course. But his passion was doing this. He was awesome. You ever catch him playing piano and singing? There's some great stuff on YouTube. He does some of it with Julie London. Bobby, Bobby Troop, who was Julie London's... We got there through the thread of who was married to Julie London. Right, that's because the uh, producer of Dragnet and the lead character, Joe Friday. Yeah, that was her, she was married to, to Jack Webb. He, he made her, he helped her career. Well, it could, it could have been, I'm not sure if she had three, if she had a husband before Jack Webb. No, those are good questions, because we're not sure of that. Um, these are things we, we really need to know. Right, Tom Marino? Tom's checking up on his brother. Mammy Nixon. Oh, she she was a, a dubber too. Wow, gotta check her out. Some I mean those those shills they brought in to do the dubbing were, you know, as good as you could get. <laughs> they wouldn't have gotten them. What a day. Oh, it's almost. It's almost like feeling in love, yeah, yeah. It's almost like feeling in love and 
being in love. What a day this has been. A lounge academy. Good morning. If you have to fake a song, it's 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 the easiest to fake the ending. Now, did you ever? Um, Did you ever have a friendship that became a romance? And the big question to me is that, my theory is there was always fraudulent intent on at least one of the parties, right? Because there's no such thing, right? You don't just become romantic with your friend, you know? It's gotta be there in the first place. My theory, everything has happened. But there's exceptions that prove the rule. I know, I know this from experience. Yeah, I know I was. I met Mary on a bar stool. Piano Lounge, Al Tinney was playing, Peggy Farrell singing. And I said, this, this is the end. Of a beautiful friendship. song, whether they want to admit it or not. Thank you. That was Donald Kahn and Stanley Stein. 1956. It's great having an opportunity to play songs for Heather without any without any interference from the sidelines. It is. We've been waiting for this. That's good. And that uh, suddenly started to rethink the uh, the math. What wife? I see no wife. Well, it, it's. <laughs> but it's it, it's one of those. It's one of those chicken or egg things, you know. Like, why did she wear the green dress? You know. Well, 